Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston, and welcome to today's International Space Station update. You're joining us here in the flight control room in Houston, Texas, the Orbit 2 team right now on console monitoring all of their respective systems for controlling this orbiting laboratory just about 260 miles over the Earth's surface. Uh, right now the station uh, out over the Pacific Ocean heading northeasterly about to make a pass over North America in just a little while. And uh, the team today inside Mission Control here being led by Flight Director David Korth there in the blue shirt. Joining him at the Capcom position is Anna Fisher, serving as the communication link between all of our controllers here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. And those astronauts are the crew of Expedition 32, a couple of them only on board the station for a few more days. Uh, starting over on the left, we have uh, our three crew members who will be remaining on board to uh, become Expedition 33. All the way on the left there is Japan Aerospace Exploration Astronaut Aki Hoshide, and then uh, in the middle, Russian cosmonaut uh, Yuri Malenchenko, and then NASA astronaut Sonny Williams will be taking over command of the International Space Station this Saturday. And then right next to her is another NASA astronaut, Joe Akaba. Uh, next to him is current Expedition 32 Commander Gennady Padalka, a Russian cosmonaut. And all the way on the right there are third Russian uh, Sergei Revin. Three on the right there coming home uh, next Sunday. They've been docked to the International Space Station since May 16th. You can see the split up of the two different Soyuz crews here that are currently comprising Expedition 32. Uh, and again, a couple of them only on board for a few more days. Uh, meanwhile, on board the International Space Station today, though, uh, a lot of prep work for the departure of another vehicle. Uh, the Japanese HTV uh, cargo vehicle is scheduled to unberth and uh, be released from the International Space Station tomorrow. Uh, you can see a couple of our astronauts right now installing uh, some thermal protection over the airlock to that unmanned cargo craft, Aki Hoshide there, uh, and he's joined right now by Sonny Williams. But on board the station, uh, Joe Akaba... Uh, a couple of tasks today with that HTV vehicle. He started off his day, though, uh, setting up some air sampling monitors inside of the International Space Station uh, as they continue to monitor the air quality uh, throughout the astronauts' breathing atmosphere. He was also uh, doing some work inside of that HTV vehicle, removing a few of the lighting assemblies inside, and then uh, closing up the hatch alongside of Aki Hoshide. He was also uh, installing a a common berthing mechanism inside of Notude, or the Harmony module where it's currently docked. Uh, he was installing the controller panel assembly, and a little bit later he'll have a, an unberthing conference with uh, controllers down here on the ground. And meanwhile, uh, Sonny Williams was continuing some work today with the VO2 Max. It's a uh, an ongoing medical research experiment on the station as these astronauts document any changes in their maximum oxygen uptake uh, as they're exposed to microgravity for long periods of time. The uh, astronauts' bodies can undergo a, s a series of changes, so VO2 Max looking to document any of those changes in their oxygen uptake. Uh, as you can see just a few seconds ago, she's also been working uh, to pr help prepare that HTV vehicle for its departure. She was uh, working on the, uh, the vestibule, uh, disconnecting a few of the power jumpers, and also installing some of these uh, thermal blankets on the hatch to uh, minimize any thermal loads on the station structure. And then a little bit later this afternoon, she'll take some time out of her day to talk with a few reporters on the ground, giving them a, a more inside look inside to life on board the International Space Station. Our third USOS crew member, Aki Hoshide from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, started his day off setting up some acoustic uh, dosimeters. Inside of the International Space Station, they'll be monitoring for about 24 hours and uh, looking to monitor uh, different sound loads throughout the station. Uh, he's also doing a lot of work today on that HTV vehicle. He'll be uh, closing out, uh, took some video of the interior uh, setup, making sure everything was in place a little bit earlier, also activating the re-entry breakup recorder. This HTV vehicle, uh, once it enters the Earth's atmosphere, will uh, break up upon re-entry, uh, not returning any down mass back to the ground. Uh, he was also inside the vehicle removing some smoke detectors and uh, helping Sonny Williams prepare that vestibule for D-mate and then closing the hatch with Joe Acaba and then setting up that controller panel assembly. And he'll be joining Acaba a little bit later with that unberthing conference with our controllers down here on the ground. 
Meanwhile, our Russian cosmonauts on board continuing uh, for the departure of their Soyuz craft, Commander Padaka doing some crew departure prep as he gets uh, things in order for uh, his descent back down to the Earth's surface in his Soyuz spacecraft uh, this coming Sunday, also storing a few items inside and then uh, setting up some experiment equipment for the Immuno experiment, which uh, he was assisting Sergei Revin in today and will be conducting tomorrow, which looks to track any changes in the immune systems of these astronauts during their long-duration space flights. And as mentioned, Sergei Revin uh, was working on that immune, immuno experiment himself today, taking some uh, blood collection samples and then storing them. Uh, some of those will be uh, brought back down on the Soyuz craft, as it does have a, a limited uh, amount of space for uh, down mass, uh, returning things like experiment samples or uh, vital hardware for testing or uh, things of that nature. So he was doing that immuno experiment and then gathering some more equipment for Soyuz storage. Then our third Russian cosmonaut, Yuri Malenchenko, who will remain on board the station following the de departure of the other two Russians, uh, was setting up and testing some proximity communications equipment gear today inside of the Russian segment. Uh, it consists of a, an antenna switch box and also a control panel for the European ATV, or the Automated Transfer Vehicle, another one of these unmanned cargo crafts that's currently docked to the aft end of the Zvezda service module.